What's up, everybody? This your boy Cut Cow, Mr. Black Gold himself, the Kansas City Chief, man, on Hype Magazine. Black Gold appeared to be more aggressive than your previous three releases. Would you agree? Uh, definitely. Um, I figure, uh, you know, I'm still coming at this like it's my, uh, my very first album, but uh, with saying that, you know, I plan to get better with each album. So, uh, you know, I went from Blend Me to Feature to Raw and Cut, and here is my fourth uh, studio album, Black Gold. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to be the best of the best, and that's what it turned out to be. You know, it, it wouldn't have been what it would have been without the beats that I, that I got also. So, I mean, with that collaboration, myself and Seven, you know, it made out for uh, one of my best releases. Some of the fans asked me to ask you, how does it feel to be back on the road with some of the guys? Oh, it feels good to be back on the road with the guys, you know. Uh, but uh, that 2012, that, uh, that break was needed as well. You know, I went on tour by myself, and I was doing solo shows by myself. You know, not necessarily a uh, 40, 60 nonstop tour or whatever, but, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every week, you know, I was going out doing my own show. And I think that helped build the cut down on the brand, you know what I'm saying, set my individuality up, you know, because we are individual artists, Tech, Calico, and myself. And so we all need to uh, build our own brand. Tech's brand is built uh, already. So, yeah, uh, that definitely helped me going out doing my own things, man. But it feels good being back out here on the road with the guys, you know, once again, every city that has failed, every city we've been to, uh, they was like, it's not been the same without you, it ain't the same without you, it ain't the same without you. So, uh, you know, that felt good to know that I was messed or whatever, and the fans is finally ecstatic that I'm back out here on the road. Over the 10 years that I've known you personally, um, what changes have you seen within the strange music as well as yourself and anything else that is relevant to that question? Changes in strange music. Strange music has gotten bigger, strange music has gotten stronger, you know. Uh, the confidence has been through the roof for years. Uh, the conglomerate, the, the catalog is getting bigger as well. You know, more talented people, you know what I'm saying, have been signed to the label, man. And uh, there's more diversity on the label. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's it definitely changed in a positive way. As far as, uh, as far as myself, you know what I'm saying, I've grown uh, more confident as well, you know what I'm saying, of course, more mature as well, and um, you know, I'm more on top of my business now, you know, in the beginning it was a lot of kicking and having fun or whatever, but now it's basically, uh, you gotta be about your business as well, man, so I think I've changed in a more mature way in the aspect of uh, being more of a businessman than out here just having fun, you know, of course I'm doing what I love, but it's all about the business as well, so if the strange has changed, as far as its size, its catalog, its talent, its diversity, and it's, it's, it's had me change as a person in a more positive direction as well. Have you picked up any new influences along the way? New influences? Uh, let me see. Uh, new influences? Uh, now, nah, you know, I dig, I dig Ritz though, man. He's a, he's a real cool dude, man. And, uh, I like his personality, man. And, uh, you know, dude got a dope album. I just heard it. You know, what I'm saying he he, uh, he has his own album now. Before it uh, before it drops on the 30th, he's been playing it on the bus, and I've been getting to check it out, man. So uh, I definitely want to collaborate with Ritz, man, and do something with him. You know, what I'm saying I'm, uh, uh, we, we we became real close on this tour, man. He's a real cool dude. I would like to uh, collaborate with him. Uh, he has some influences in there. I was picking some of his stuff or whatever, and I like that, man. I mean, and that's what you do. Everybody picks something from another person. We all pick stuff from each other and just use it in our way, in our music, or whatever system we need to use it. What can we expect after Black Gold? And uh, after Black Gold, you know, <clears throat> I, have, I have plans to do, you know, mixtapes, uh, the Flames, Flames mixtape, volume two. I got that's in the works, man. I got another mixtape. Um, that I was planning to do called this plus for you myself and beat you bullet wound or whatever. But uh, the previous time, man, I'm definitely focused on black gold. I'm going at it strong. Like I said, this is my best album to date. And so I'm even planning on, uh, you know, cutting a couple more videos off of black gold. I have five now. Four have been released in a uh, video for same thing, future bitch. It's, uh, they need one more shot and then they're going to be releasing that as well. And this is going to be a dope video. It's more of a storyline or whatever, and uh, it should be a, a dope, 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 dope video. So after uh, this tour is over, uh, I plan to go on a summer tour called Hot Summer Nights Tour, and uh, those dates I'm going to be posting up on uh, Facebook, Twitter, all the media sites or whatever. Hot Summer Nights Tour with myself, Cool Nights, and uh, Mr. Fan, and uh, <clears throat> that should be a good tour for this summer starting uh, June 18th. 
to July 21st. And it's gonna be hitting a lot of cities that we've, that we've covered on this tour, and then some that we didn't even cover on this tour. So it's gonna be a, a, a real good tour, and I'm gonna be headlining that tour, so that's a big thing for myself as well. Okay. Any other future collaborations or hopeful collaborations mm -hmm. in the works? Like I said, Red's definitely out. We do some assess crew too. You know, we got a studio on the bus, more or less. You know, the microphone. We got all the Pro 2 session and the Mac and all that stuff. So uh, we're definitely going to be recording and cutting some stuff while we're on the bus or whatever. But uh, I'm going to collaborate with Red's. We're going to collaborate with uh, assess crew. Me and Brother Lynch are going to do something for his album and not just my stuff. Me and him are going to do something for his album, man. And, uh, who I would like to reach out to, you know, <clears throat> I've been saying it in lots of interviews, I, I definitely want to reach out to T.I., you know what I'm saying, and I got a couple other artists in mind, you know what I'm saying, but uh, we're going to see how that goes, man, but everything is looking good, I'm going to push Black Gold as hard as I can for the remainder of this year, man, because that album definitely needs to, uh, needs to uh, break, break the mass barrier of where it's at now and just keep going out, man, because that's a dope album, man. I would love to see that album get its just deserved, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of your videos, how much influence did you have on those videos? Because that was a Cut Calhoun that I rarely seen. If I mean, performance-wise, yes, but video-wise, I saw so much emotion. I saw so much rage, almost. Yeah, that, that, that hunger, man. It's like, you know, you generally when people are out here for years and have had quite a few albums, you see that the hunger dies away. You know, even that's for these major stars on television, you know, the hunger kind of dies now. My hunger hasn't died down, probably solely because I feel like I haven't reached my pinnacle to where I want to be at. I haven't achieved the success that I feel satisfactory yet. So, like I said, I'm coming at it like it's my first album, man, like I got something to prove. And that's why you see that intensity, that aggressiveness. But not only that, the tracks that I got, you know, the first video I did, Self Preservation, I mean, come on, I mean, that track speaks for itself. That, that track itself is intense and aggressive, and the raps that went along with it, the lyrics that went along with it, man, that just was the icing on the cake, you know what I'm saying? And so, that raw energy, that aggressiveness, and everything I just said are all combined in one, which made for how these videos are turning out, man. You know, see what it happened was, that's my word. It's all the emotion, the emotion I'm putting to the lyrics and to the song, I'm putting it to the video as well, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what you're seeing, and that's why I said I, I, I want to do more videos, <clears throat> I'm going to cut more videos from that album because it's a lot more than I want to let out, and I want people to see, you never know what's going to catch on, you know what I'm saying? It can be that one video, that one person to see something, and that shit just you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, I don't want to uh, short, shortcut myself with this album and then just start thinking about another album, you know what I'm saying, this summer. Now nah, I'm gonna let the whole rest of this year run because you never know what the hell can break, man. So uh, yeah, that raw, intense energy that, you, that you're talking about is gonna keep coming. Okay, what else would you like our uh, viewers to know? I just want the viewers to know, man, that uh, you know, Black Gold is out. Uh, if you can't find it at your local Best Buys, you know what I'm saying, you can always get it on iTunes. And uh, of course, you can get it at strangemusicinc.net at the Strange Music Store. You know, and you know, that's any album of mine. <clears throat> if you get Black Gold and it's just your first time hearing about me and you love Black Gold, you know, uh, 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 go back and do your research and get Feature Presentation, Raw and Uncut and Blevy. You know, get Redheaded Stepchild EP. Get the Kelvin EP that just came out last year, October the 2nd, man. And just get your whole catalog together. You know what I'm saying? And once you see that and you like that, pass it on to the next person, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I don't even do too much talking. I'll just let the music speak for itself, man. It's beautiful music. If, if, if you like good music, man, you like, you like storytelling rhymes, you like heartfelt stuff, you like reality rap, that's the, uh, that's the route that you ought to go. Cut Calhoun, baby. Uh, Cut Calhoun on Twitter, backslash Cut Calhoun, K U T T C A L H O U N. Same thing with Facebook on Instagram, Cut K U T T underscore Calhoun. Look me up, bro. Uh, YouTube, like I said, do your research. I got four studio albums and two EPs out. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not to be slept on. They say I'm underrated, but I'm never duplicated. You know what I'm saying? And when you hear it, you're gonna, you're gonna really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Cut out on Black Gold, Kansas City Chief, baby, more than all.